Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fires Builders Workshop. So today we're going to continue with our sub-assemblies and this video we're going to do the cooling assembly. So you can see here on my little model the back side is the cooling tubes, it goes down to the bottom and connects to the condensate tube. So the assembly drawings you can see here basically there's the cooling assembly with the condensate tube at the bottom. Here you can see the parts to the cooling assembly. Uh, basically we've got four uh, 180 degree U-bends at three inch uh, centerline radius. Uh, we've got three pieces at 14 inches straight. We've got one piece at 16 inch straight. Um, and then we've got some uh, supports, some flat bar supports that are going to be on the back. So here's another view of the assembly where the supports go in the back. And then at the bottom, it goes on to the condensate tube, we have these three inch spacers that are going to be welded on the bottom that we're going to secure to the uh, condensate tube. So basically here are the parts, so you can see we've got four of the U-bends, the three CLR, we've got the three 14 inch lengths, one 16 inch length, then we've got the supports. Now in the book, the original book, he uses five of these plates as supports and we eliminated the five plates and just did it as two pieces of solid flat bar. It serves the same purpose um, here and then we use one of those plates for the offset for where it connects on to the uh, condensate. So we're at the bottom here, this is going to connect down to the condensate tube and those three inch spacers is how much we need that height so that uh, the height of this uh, uh, silicone uh, adapter. Then at the top here, we've got a, a 90 degree elbow and this is a five inch center line radius. Now in this configuration, it's going straight up and over the top, just uh, very similar to what the, uh, the original version does. In the PDF drawings that I just showed you, we're changing that so that we can take, basically when we go straight up, we have to add this other piece, which requires two more U-bends to go up over onto the heat exchange, and then they're connected via this high temperature silicone uh, connector, which is rated for 500 degrees. Um, but in the, in the assembly PDF, you'll see that we're trying a new configuration where we turn this 90 degrees, and we go straight into the heat exchange. We still connect to the heat exchange with one of these, but we basically can eliminate these two by going straight into the heat exchange. So you have an option when we ship the kits, we ship it with this and we ship it with these two parts. So you can still go the traditional way up over the top. Um, but if you want to try the new uh, method that we've got reflected in the assembly drawings, just rotate that 90 degrees and come straight into the heat exchange that way. Um, it's a pretty straightforward build. Now, some uh, words of caution with this is this is all pretty light gauge material. This is all 16 gauge, two inch uh, exhaust tubing. It's very light, very, very easy to burn through. So you're gonna have to turn your voltage way down on the, uh, on the welder or you'll burn right through. And once you burn through, it's very hard to fix it. Uh, you'll just make it worse. Uh, what I strongly suggest is if you can just grab a couple scrap pieces of tubing to, to experiment with because these are all gonna be butt welds um, and keeping everything lined up. Uh, get some uh, scrap pieces and play with that uh, on your welds. Um, if, you, if you're doing TIG, this is an excellent piece to do TIG welding on. Uh, one of the uh, tricks for keeping these lined up is to use a piece of angle iron like I've got here. I've got this pipe sitting on a piece of angle iron and then basically just clamp each side. That way you're sure that everything is gonna be straight and flush. Uh, and it'll help keep things from getting out of alignment as you go through and build it. Um, but there are the components. Uh, now we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you what a, a completed assembly looks like. All right, here we go. So here we've got a complete welded cooling assembly. So you can see we've got the, the 90 degree elbow. We've got everything basically welded in place. We've got the supports on the back. We've got the tabs on the bottom for mounting it to the condensate tube. So everything's very clean. Um, so at this stage, once you have a completed weld assembly, you will have to leak test it. Now, I'm not calling this a critical. I'm calling this a non-critical 
uh, assembly because uh, yes, while it does need leak tested, if there is a problem after the fact or it develops a leak after the fact, you can still come back in later on and fix it. There's no internal pieces that you don't have access to. But it does need to be leak tested and it is significant. Uh, so the way that we do the leak test, you can either use a water test by you know, plugging one end and filling it up with water, or uh, simpler is to plug one end and then just use air. So in this case, I've got a two inch uh, silicone adapter with an end cap. I can put that on there, lock it down with the uh, hose clamp. And then on the top here, I've got a 90 degree elbow and a fitting. And then I basically got a, a quick little fitting for my air uh, compressor to put on there. That would go up here on the top. And then what I want to do is uh, I want to have a spray bottle with some soap and water. And then I want to spray every all the welds. We'll do it on both sides. We'll, we'll spray the, all the welds here. And then we'll put air. It, it doesn't have to be high pressure. It's not a pressurized system. So even 5 to 10 uh, PSI is more than enough. If you have any leaks on any of those welds, you'll see it bubbling and then uh, mark them so you can dry it off and come back later. And then basically turn it over 180 degrees and spray the welds and do the same thing. Um, uh, once it uh, uh, passes the leak test, then you're good to move on to painting. All right, so here we go. So this is our completed Assembly, it's all leak tested, welded up, painted, ready to go. So you can see we've got our tabs on the bottom, we've got our supports on the back. Um, the supports on the back should be facing the two tanks. And then in this case, I've got the 90 degree going up. And again, if you want to follow the uh, assembly in the PDF, so you just turn that 90 degrees and go straight into the top of the uh, heat exchange. So you got two options there. Uh, so this uh, assembly said the, the metal is pretty light gauge, so be very careful. Dial down the welder. Um, make sure you do the leak testing, uh, and then you should be good to go.